Hi, this is JC with Beyond 20, and today we're going to look at the farewell and service now at the system logs. So often uh, it's happened for me at least that uh, something will happen within the system, and honestly, I just have no idea what it is. And so being able to take a look at the logs has helped me get out of quite a few messes. So um, in farewell, we'll take a look at how to do that. And so to start with, we'll need to go to our server manager. And this is going to be if you're on-prem only. If you're hosted, then Sharewell will have to get these for you. So for on-prem users, uh, if you open your server manager, you'll have to be on the server that uh, the system is on. And then uh, choosing which server here uh, doesn't really matter. Depends on, I guess, well, it does matter. It matters for what you're looking for. In this case, we're going to look for the Sharewell service host. Uh, we can see it is running. And then we can configure the logging down here. So with the newer versions of Sharewell, you're able to kind of do logging in a couple different ways. Uh, in this case, we have it logging to the event log and that we're logging warning and above. You can see you can get in here and really decide what you want to know. If you want debug and above, you can. If you want warning and above, info and above. Um, in the with this, you'll have to be careful. The more information that you are logging, the slower your system is going to go. So typically, uh, you will want to leave it on warning and above uh, or error and above. What this will do, if we go into our event viewer, um, because we've, we've logged it in as an event, logged it to the event log, um, and just for this other one, the log to file, you can log this in just like a notepad. Uh, I've done that previously too. And then wherever you store it, um, usually some drive on your server, then um, you can open up that file and see the errors as well. So in this case, we are logging to the event viewer. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and open that up as we can see now. And then under applications and service logs, we see that we have this CSM sharewell service management. So this is gonna show any of those errors and it's gonna give me um, general or more details. And we can see that I've got a service host error, uh, which doesn't surprise me. Uh, this is just a demo system that uh, I don't think I have fully set up. So that's kind of the basics on the sharewell logs. Now, looking at ServiceNow, it's a little bit different. It doesn't have its own kind of separate thing. It's all held within ServiceNow itself. And so here, we're going to take a look at system logs. And right here, we can see all different types of log files that we may want. We can see any events, emails, and determine kind of what we want to see. If we want to see everything of the system log, if you want to see warnings, if you want to see errors. Um, it's really up to you on what you want to see. One of the more helpful ones that uh, I've used in my day-to-day -day has been emails. And we'll filter it out to all emails. Um, just because this, I've seen this a few times um, where the emails aren't working correctly. And so you can really troubleshoot your emails through here. And this is extremely helpful. Uh, but if you're not working on emails, if you want to see client transactions, you can click on client transactions. Um, all sorts of different logs you have available to you in the system. Once again, it's just under the heading system logs. So if you search for system logs, uh, it'll show you all of your system logs. If you just search for logs, you're able to still find it as well. And that's it for this brief introduction about logs and uh, how to find them with both ServiceNow and ShareWell. Thanks and have a great day.